Hello, hello, Angel Powers. Boom, boom, boom. This is Angelica Ortiz. Angelica and Powers in Rosenberg. Barista. Rosenberg. <laughs> Um, sure. Yes, like right now, we're gonna make some coffee. He's gonna teach me, you're gonna teach me, right? Yes. And we're gonna tell you about our background. Uh, we are from Colombia, yeah. South America, the real South, but we live... We live in Nashville, North Carolina, baby. Yes, and we, we love coffee, right? Mm -hmm. We love to go to new coffee shops. That's right. right. In our town or when we travel, when we were, you know, free to travel. And we found this coffee right here in, in, in this town, right? Yeah, the, the one we're going to use today. Uh, so we're going to be doing a series of different ways of making coffee. Uh, we have, mm. I, I have different because she doesn't make the coffee. So this is actually a teaching moment for her because we have a story out there where I had to chime in through Alexa to guide her on how to make coffee on a regular coffee machine, was it? Or uh, yes, because we did not have we didn't have the uh, the the K cups for the Keurig. True. So she had to make coffee in a regular machine, and she didn't know how to run it. So I don't know why I decided to make coffee in a Facebook Live, thinking, oh, I can do this by myself. And my husband was at work. He was uh, an officer in the Air Force. So he got the notification that I was live. And then he saw me that I was in a big trouble. And he was trying to give me directions through Facebook Live, but it was impossible. It was a delay. So he contacted me through Alexa. So while I was on Facebook Live, he was telling me what to do with the machine. And it was a big, big struggle. So now he said, honey, let's do a series of how to use all these little things because you never know. You know, maybe, you know, we do this when we are in a hotel. Yeah, so, so this machine right here is the, uh, the AeroPress. It's almost like, like a syringe, really. That's how it works. Uh, so I have to go grind the, the beans, but let me tell you about the beans real quick. So this is where we found it. Uh, here at uh, Whole Foods, this one's called Cafe Femenino, Ooh. which means feminine coffee. And they are coffee growers from uh, different parts of the world, really. But it's a movement to allow women coffee growers to come together and, and, and create these blends or the different uh, type of beans, uh, you know, your light rose or your, your, your different type of beans, really. Uh, but the roasters are the ones that's, that do the, the, the roasting. And this one in particular is, the, is one called Joe Van Gogh. And it's roasted in Hillsborough, North Carolina. And this one is a espresso. And it has five different blends. So, so I'm going to go... What happened there? So I'm going to go ahead and... and, and uh, what do you call it? Grind them real quick. This is a, like I said, espresso blend. So I'm going to grind them finely. And she's gonna continue to share some stuff. Uh huh. So, tell us where you coming in. Like we said, that we are from Colombia, South America. We live actually in Asheville, North Carolina. And my husband loves coffee. And when we met, I told him I like coffee too. But in reality, I didn't like coffee because the entire mug was with milk regular milk and I had like a it was not a, even a teaspoon of instant coffee it was like the tip of the teaspoon okay so we have some arguments because I said this is the way I like my coffee with milk and he was saying no you don't drink coffee that's milk with coffee with a little bit of coffee so we have issues there and yeah, technically, yes, I didn't like coffee. And I was, when I, when I was, you know, going out with friends or they were saying, hey, let's have coffee. I was like, uh, I don't like coffee. Like, you know, I love the smell. I was, you know, going to Starbucks, going to a coffee shop, and the smell was amazing, but not to drink it. Speaking of smell. Mmm. Mm. This is so 
good. Pretty good. So his story, you know, he's he's very positive, and probably in his mind, he was like, hmm, I know you're gonna love coffee. So he started when he was buying his coffee, he was like, honey, taste it, honey, try it. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, I don't like coffee. But I don't know how I started drinking some coffee, and I'm like, mm. oh, mocha. I think you introduced me with mocha first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we started, so so we started getting some credits from from Starbucks. You know how you collect stars, and I started getting her to to um, so with Starbucks, I wanted to get the best value of the free uh, espresso, right? Espresso, yes. the blend. So I, I started getting mocha with four shots of espresso, then five shots of espresso, and then one time we got a mocha with six six shots of espresso, and that was just that was just crazy. That was powerful, but then. She got hooked up really on, on hard, strong coffee, uh, like espressos and stuff like that. So it got to push her away from that milk so with a little bit of coffee. So there's Coco. Coco, because my my amiga Coco Ajala is here in this live. So I want to <laughs> say hello, amiga. Thank you for tuning in with us. Uh -huh. I love you. So, so we're going to be using again... This one, uh, Café Femenino. Uh, it's this coffee was grown on farms owned and operated by women. Uh, when you choose Café Femenino, you choose a brand that provides the right compensation, leadership opportunities, and ownership rights to women coffee farmers. So, so that's amazing, that's pretty good. So we're gonna get into the, the making here. Again, Ooh. this is an AeroPress. So honey, pay attention, because this is for yes, you. Yes sir, yes sir, yes sir. So this machine usually come in, comes in like this and or separate so the way to make it is you want to uh, insert this piece right here uh, to this one by this other side here not but the uh, the bottom because this is what's going to go on top of this uh, little cup here so you insert like that you add the coffee grounds again this one's finely fine grounds because we're making uh, an espresso really and we're going to be making four little shots of espresso. Ooh, ooh. So, so if you like coffee, drop coffee in the comments. If you like espresso, you know, drop espresso. So we like it really dark. So we're going to do two and a half tablespoons of ooh. coffee grounds. And let me tell you, I saw a post that this guy, he loves coffee. And he married a woman that doesn't like coffee. Uh -uh. So there's hope. Because yeah. you marry a woman who didn't like coffee. Who who had uh, milk with a little bit of coffee. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> with a hint of coffee. So what we're going to do next, we're going to add the boiling, water, boiling water. Boiling water. And we're going to do it just a little bit, just enough to let it uh, percolate, let it get the smell out, feel the aroma, <sighs> start seeing the grounds get nice and moist. And, and you know... It, it went out. Yeah, you, you, you let it so you can see the um, the little bubbles start coming out. This is interesting. You add a little bit more, but you add it nice and slow. Oh, that's the trick? Yes. Oh. What's the, the name of this machine? This is an Aero Press. Aero Press. So if you have an Aero Press, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have done this before. Because did your mom buy something like this? Uh, no, I think she Something had one of the uh, the espresso machines that you put on the stove. Oh, yes, the other one. And it starts to, to blend from the bottom up. Okay. Um, so so we're going we're gonna to turn it here a little bit. Oh. And we're going to let it sit. Uh, we're going to do probably about 15 spins. Oh, count. Mm. Count. One, two, three, four, five times three. Fifteen. All right. And then we're going to continue to let it uh, sit there for... Few more minutes or seconds really seconds we add a little bit more water Ooh. see about the, the top of it the rim okay. and so here is where we're gonna use the filter so this machine comes with a set of filters mm -hmm. and this little uh, filter holder is what we're gonna place it on now some people like to get the filter moist uh, oh. for me it doesn't make a difference oh. uh, but we're gonna put it on it like this. You see, he's a barista. And we're gonna twist it so it, it, it locks in, it closes oh. up. Oh, 
Otherwise, it's going to fall all over and you're going to make a big, big mess. No mess. No so mess. check this out. Since it's like a, like, like, this works almost like a syringe. Uh -huh. When you flip it over, not much coffee comes out. Uh-oh, that's not going to fit this thing. Oh, no. Do you have to use this? Better? No. We, we could probably try, yeah. So oh. we'll fit it in here. You see, I'm helping my, my barista. I never oh. used it like that. I thought this was only for um for what? For putting the coffee grounds in whenever you had like a like this thing, uh the grinder. Oh. And you wanna make it so it's a big You know, I'm so smart. She's very smart. <laughs> that was that was that was genius. Betty Clever. So now we can wait a little bit. Sometimes there's a coffee grounds that stay on top, so we just move it around a little bit like that so all of them come down. So why is it called an AeroPress? Because there's some air that gets trapped here. Can you get it closer, maybe? Maybe we can do a close up. See, there's an air, there's a little air pocket inside there. Mm -hmm. uh, so it gets trapped, and now we're gonna press it, like I said, like almost like a syringe. And we're gonna press it down slowly, and you can see it here coming down. Oh. You see that? So, are you a coffee lover? Do you have an aero? Aero press. Aero press. So, here's the, uh, the actual bag where it comes in. So, AeroPress coffee maker. Oh. Like, like, we're not experts about coffee because we met the expert. <laughs> His name is Scott um, Coronary. You can Google him and follow him. He has a coffee shop in Gold's, what's the name? Um, it, in Carboro. Carboro. So, we press it so we just bought coffee here and it's delish and he is one of the judges the world world known judges for coffee so they he traveled the world to judge baristas and he knows about coffee and he said you have to drink coffee like Black coffee, no flavors, no sugar, mm -hmm. no creamer, no. When you say you are a coffee lover, is because you love you coffee. love coffee, yeah, the actual coffee. dark coffee. Well, not necessarily dark coffee, but black, like because some people love the light rose. Oh, and if you know, if, yes, if you know, yes, if you didn't true. know, light rose actually has more caffeine. Yes, it's, it's weird. So. But some people like the ro robust uh, taste of, of dark roast. Okay. Uh, I, I like dark roast, right? Yes, yes. And, and I believe this, this espresso is, is a dark roast blend. Uh, so we're gonna actually give it a shot here. <laughs> so there it is, it's done, actually. Let me show you. It's all the way down, uh, all the way press. And if you look at the uh, at the at the uh, grounds here, I'll make a little mess here just to show you. Uh, when you pull push it all the way through, is uh it's like a little hockey pot. Look at that, and, and all you have to do is put it in the garbage, mm. and it, it, it easily you can just rinse it out and and be done. Easy peasy. So if you are new to these Aero press coffee, let us know in the comments so we can say that we teach you something because when he came to the house with that, I'm like, what? But we have a coffee machine. <laughs> so why not to use a coffee machine? What's the difference? Um, this one, you actually are able to get the, um, the grounds all the way through. Uh, nicely, nice and moist, and, and it gets all the juices out really well. Mm -hmm. Kind of like when you do a um, French press, uh, which we'll have another episode of that. Um, but in, in this one, you, you, you get with the air, you get to push all the grounds through and, and slowly make it taste better. So if you're drinking coffee right now, take a picture and show me that you're drinking coffee right now. So we can say cheers. cheers. Okay, let, me, let me put this in all the way so that you don't. Okay. It's good. So this say. actually seems to be a, since it's a blend, um, it's kind of on the light, medium roast. 
I think it's good. It's good. And so it's how many? It's not it's not a dark roast that you like. It's not dark dark roast, but it's it's good. Again, this is a this is cafe femenino espresso. Uh, it says five blends. Uh, let me see if he has anything in here that says more about. No, it doesn't really say it, what kind of a full blend it is, if it's dark roast or not. But. So we are supporting our local coffee makers, our local coffee shops. Yes. Because right now, you you know, with this pandemic, those small places, entrepreneurs that live in your town, they're struggling. Mm -hmm. And for me, the thing that I can do right now for them is to buy their coffee, is to tell, you know, share their name. Mm -hmm. Like we're saying about these uh, feminino women, like women, only women are working for this coffee. Yeah. They have a brand. So if you like to support women, you know, try their coffee. Share that these women are doing something for, for themselves. They're learning about coffee and they are empowering mm -hmm. another women. Yes. So thank you so much for tuning in. We're going to enjoy this coffee. Anything else that yeah. you want to share? No, that's it. So you had to uh, hit our faces. So you're going to have like three dots and it's going to be like a drop out and you're going to see follow. So that way you can see us with the other machines that we're going to, not me, he's going to explain about how to use them and then we'll drink the coffee. Yes. Okay. So make sure you are following us so you can get the notification when we go live. And if you have questions, we're here for you. Thank you for tuning in. This is Angelica Ortiz. With Angelic Empowers and eh? Rosenberg. But it's not Rosenberg. Mm. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Cheers with Cheers. coffee.